Hi, I'm Caleb Gettings from Gunnuts Media. Today we're talking about a new product that's available for Glock handguns. It is commonly referred to as the Gadget. Its proper name is the Striker Control Device and it's made by Tau Development Group. What is the Gadget? Well, it is a replacement for your Glock's striker plate that allows you to holster your Glock at the appendix carry or any other position the same way you would holster a double action firearm that has a hammer. Confused as to what I'm talking about? Well, let me show you. Let's say I'm carrying a hammer fired pistol like this SIG P250. With a gun like this SIG, if I were to holster it, whenever I holster it, regardless of whether I'm holstering it at the appendix carry position, at the strong side position, back here, regardless of where I'm going to holster it, I'm going to place my thumb over the hammer when I holster it, no matter what. And the reason I do this is if something has gotten into my holster that I can't see, if there is a shirt tail caught, if something has happened, if there has been something beyond my control, and usually this is things entering the holster that I can't see just by glancing down at it. If something has entered the holster and could catch on the trigger guard by impeding the movement of the hammer with my thumb, I can pull on this as hard as I want and nothing is going to happen. The gadget, when applied to my Glock, if I hold my Glock like this, you can't tell that it's there. If I tilt my Glock out like this, you can see this little bit right here. What it is, is it is connected to the actual striker, so when I pull the trigger, this little back plate moves a little bit. It's not visually distracting any more than a hammer is on a hammer-fired gun. Okay, the gun is now out of holster, and you can see the striker plate. And you can see when I pull the trigger, it moves ever so slightly. So, when I put my finger over the striker plate, and pull, you can see my thumb moving because I'm impeding the motion of the striker plate. Let's take a look at that where you can watch the striker plate move again. Now this doesn't interfere with the function of the gun in any way. It just adds this little part back here on the gun. So now that you've seen how the gadget works, the real question that everyone's going to ask is why do you have it? Whenever the gadget comes up in online discussions, there's always some herpaderp clown show dude who's like, if you need this on your gun to be safe, you should take more training, blah, 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 blah. That guy's an idiot, let's be honest, he's, he's an idiot. Uh, it's not going to compromise the function of the gun. This has been rigorously tested by some of the most serious shooters on the planet. The guy, one of the guys who helped invent it was a dear friend of mine. Uh, who has passed away now, and he was a tremendously high volume shooter and an extremely talented trainer. He thought it was a good idea. The idea behind it, at least for me, isn't a product that I need. I agree with the people who say you don't need it. Asterix. I don't need it. I can safely reholster my gun at the appendix position without putting my finger in the trigger and not shooting myself. I'm, I'm good at that. What the gadget does is provide me with that additional layer of safety. So a seatbelt will probably save your life in a car accident. A seatbelt and an airbag is probably is really going to save your life in a car accident. And it's sort of like an airbag. And I'm going to I want to expand on this for a minute. A seatbelt is an active safety. I actively take my seatbelt and engage it. I choose to do that. It's like the safety on a 1911. I am actively engaging the safety. An airbag is a passive safety. I don't choose when to use the airbag. The airbag chooses me. The airbag goes off when the conditions are right for the airbag to deploy, and then it saves my life. We like to think of the gadget, or at least I like to think of the gadget, as more of an airbag type safety. I'm not necessarily choosing to employ it. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's riding on my gun, doesn't really do anything, I shoot my gun, everyone's fat, dumb, and happy, and nothing happens. What I do is I put my thumb over the striker plate, which is, this is how I holster my Glocks anyways, is I put my thumb up here, put my thumb over the striker plate, look down, and holster. And if everything is correct, if nothing's broken off my holster, if there hasn't been any brass that's snuck down in there, if my black t-shirt hasn't come untucked and worked its way into my black holster, which is dark and hard to see, everything's fine. However, if something goes wrong, and like an airbag, if the conditions are right for the gadget to be activated, like, let's say, I'm going to use my index finger here. Normally, 
Don't ever holster with your finger on the trigger, but I'm going to use my index finger to simulate a foreign object in the holster. So I'm going to holster and I feel that pressure. My gadget's activated. I should stop holstering. I'm going to freeze, look down at what I'm doing, remove the gun, point it in a safe direction, and assess the situation. Oh, there's a piece of brass that got lodged in my holster. Well, let's shwink, deal with that, and now safely reholster. So, bottom line on the gadget, do you need it on your gun? Honestly, and I'm sorry, Tom, no. Is it good to have on your gun? Absolutely. Do I wholeheartedly recommend it? 100%. I probably won't ever carry a Glock that doesn't have this on it if I'm given the option. That's just how it is. I like it. I like that level of passive safety. I like having seat belts and airbags in my car. If you have any questions about the gadget, you can hit up Tau Development Group on Facebook. I'll put a link down there in the description of this video. If you have questions for me, if you want to tell me I'm dumb because I put an extra safety on my Glock, that's fine too. Leave a comment down below. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching.